Welcome back to the Desperately Seeking Gina um, YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today we are going to make this shabby chic rag bow. So the materials that we need to make this are just strips of material. So I have some printed canvas here, um, two strips, and then I have a couple strips of um, burlap. Um, these are all just scraps that I've had laying around for forever. So um, I have some lace trimmings and I have some red burlap um, that I got from a bag. I just cut up a bag into strips. And then I had these from a project from a couple years ago, uh, just some regular canvas and some sequins and some lace. And then I had, um, these were like some little um, flags I made. So they're tied at the top and I just left them uh, because they worked for this project. So the first thing that we are going to do um, is we're going to kind of fray these edges a little bit and kind of give it a little bit of um, rustic or shabby chic look. Um, just kind of, um, you know, tear the, the fabric a little bit, pull out some of those fibers, kind of work them around. You don't want this, you want this to look shabby and you want it to look kind of rustic looking. So pull those strings, let them um, fray at the ends. You don't have to get too crazy, but we do like that pretty fray along the, uh, the edges there. And then we're going to do the same thing with our printed canvas and you, any canvas that you're using, um, you can fray the edges in here. The, the canvas is a little tougher to do. Um, what I should have probably done was uh, make a little cut up at the top and then you can kind of rip and tear that and get those nice bright edges. But uh, this is working okay. Um, but you see it was having a little bit of difficulty um, with this one because the material is a, a bit tougher. So you'll see that this strip um, had already had some nice fray on there. So um, that's the first step. You want to get your materials looking shabby and not new. So I start with my longest layers. Um, these were cut, I'm not sure the actual dimensions of this one, but the first one that I made were about uh, 20 inches long. So we're just going to start by uh, hot gluing the base and we're just putting the two together. Uh, this is going to be the base for all of our ribbon strips. So just hot glue those and I grabbed something to uh, save my fingers from the hot glue. Um, it wasn't really ideal, so you'll see me I'll switch it up here in a little bit. So then you want to take your next longest pieces and just lay those right on top where you want them to go and give them another uh, little squirt of hot glue. So basically here, all we're doing is layering all of these strips, strips of fabric. So if you wanted to lay out all your fabrics to begin with, uh, to see what order you want them in, then you can cut accordingly. You see here, this is not working all that well, so I'm going to grab um, a wooden dowel here in a second because it, I didn't want to ruin my tools and get hot glue all over them, so this uh, dowel should work a little bit better. And save your fingers from all that really hot glue. So just keep adding layers. It's basically all that we're doing here is just adding pretty layers of uh, material cut into strips. Um, that's the easy part of this. It's no sew. You want to get all those nice frayed edges layered. Gives it a nice shabby chic look. And use your dowel to press that down. Adjust as you go. You could even rip this apart if you decide you didn't like that layer. You could switch it up. I'm just adding the red burlap here. On my first bow that I made, I actually had a better frayed uh, red ribbon. You see that this isn't, or uh, red burlap, this isn't frayed that much. Um, I, I would have liked a little bit more fray on this second one that I've done, but it is what it is. So like I said before, I'm just going to leave these uh, ribbons uh, knotted at the top because they're, I think they're glued together anyway, so it'd be difficult to get them apart, but it works for this. So just put some hot glue on the back side of that knot and you got some pretty layers with some glittery sequins in there. You can see where I tore off 
this from another project that still has the remnants on there. And there you have it. Now you can make this as um, chunky as you want, as many layers as you want. This is just, this worked for my project. Um, this will go on a shabby chic wreath later. So this, the minimal uh, layers worked for me. You can see the hot glue holds them really well there. Uh, I like the way that looks. I like the little sparkle that the is in there. Let's move on to making our bow. So I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I have six layers here, just strips of regular canvas, a couple strips of uh, burlap, some lace trim, that printed canvas again that I really like, and then the red burlap again, and uh, just a raggly piece of red burlap uh, to tie the bow together when we're done. So you can make these uh, for the bow uh, just the same as you did with the tails. You can make these different widths, different lengths, just to give your bow some nice chunky layers and to give it that nice shabby chic look. So you're going to take your, your strips and you're going to fold them in together, uh, like kind of like a book fold. Um, you'll see it just laid out and bring in each side so that it touches. Now, I, I don't know why I added glue here. You don't really need to add the glue. Um, I guess I was just happy to have my glue gun out. Uh, so I gave that a little uh, shot with the hot glue. And here I'm just playing with layers. You're going to see that I change my mind a lot. Um, it's all just depending on what look you're going for and what layers you like where. So play with it until you get it uh, to where you want it. This wasn't quite, uh, this was a little bit too long if I left it um, unglued, so I just give it a little shot of glue on each end, and I just made it uh, the length that I wanted, just by gluing the ends. So that middle part you're not even going to see, so it looks pretty ragamuffin right now, but that's the whole idea of a shabby chic bow. So now I have that like I want it, I just take that printed canvas and book fold it again and just lay it right on top. There's no need to glue here, and I really like that fray. It looks, it looks good. Our final layers are the lace trim. You can do the same thing with this. This gets really floppy, but when you put it in those layers, it holds together in the middle, so you don't have to worry about being so floppy. So just kind of maneuver it where you want it to go. Um, I, I switched up the layers here a little bit. of like making a little sandwich all your layers and you'll see like each layer is shorter than the one underneath of it. it so you can see when you put the bow together you can see all the pretty layers so there's my final layer is that red and all my pretty layers I love every layer so now what we're gonna do is I'm grabbing some uh, floral wire I have a little box of different kinds of wire here um, this is a lighter weight one. I'm not sure the gauge of this little one because I took it out of the packaging, but I have like a 22 gauge here um, that's a little stiffer. Um, you'll see that uh, when I kind of pull the, the wire apart. Um, this is a little stiffer, gives you more movement, um, but this uh, is um, a less stiff wire, so it's going to work perfect uh, for our project here. So to start out with, I always um, cut off a big chunk of wire because I'm not really sure how much I'll need. Um, so cut off about a six inch piece of wire with some wire cutters. And this is how we're gonna build our bow uh, to stay together. So we're just gonna pick up that bunch, pinch them in the middle, and see it's already starting to look like a bow. So you just gather that, pinch it, and then you're going to take that floral wire and you're going to put it right over the center and we're going to tie it in the back. So we're just going to twist. And as you're twisting the wire, you kind of want to hold that bow in your left hand or whatever is your non-dominant hand and you kind of want to pinch it together and kind of squeeze so you can get it tight as possible and then twist that floral wire really tightly so that it holds your bow together because remember most of those 
book folds are not glued. There are a couple that I did glue, but most of them are not glued. So you'll want to uh, twist that really tightly so that it holds. And then once you get a nice good twist, you can cut down your wire with the wire cutters so that you don't have a big chunky mess of sharp wire that at the end. So I grab a, a pair of pliers here, jewelry making pliers, and I just kind of twist that so it lays flat against the bottom of that bow and you don't have that sharp edge sticking out. So there's our bow. And then you just kind of want to work it and twist it and maneuver it, uh, all your pieces, so that it, it looks like a bow. And that you can see all the pretty layers. Just kind of move it where you want to go and it's going to stay together. So just to make it pretty and to finish it off like a bow, we're going to take that raggly strip of red burlap and we're just going to tie it around the middle there to hide that ugly wire. Knot it in the back. Make it nice and tight, just like that. And then we will knot it again and cut off the tails so that you have a nice flat surface for hot gluing your bow to your tail. So there we have the finished bow. Just kind of move it to where you want it to be. And then grab those tails. And just figure out where you want it to be, how you want it to look. And then grab the hot glue. We're just going to put it right there across the top. I just started out with a, a kind of a medium sized dab right in the middle to see if that's where I wanted it to be and then I just give it a second to dry and then I look to see if it needed more surface space to be glued down and I thought it did so I just added more glue on either side of that initial glue spot and just kind of pressed it down and held it until the bow stayed in place. You can just kind of, um, you know, put those pieces where you want them to be, get your layers all nice and settled, and there you have a shabby chic bow. You can use these for wreath making. You can use them as curtain tie backs. You can use them as hair bows if, you, if you'd like that look for hair bows. These are a lot of fun to make and so easy, and you can make these as big and chunky as you'd like by adding more layers. It's that simple. I hope you enjoyed this rag bow tutorial and I would appreciate it if you'd consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more easy tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.